up, down, left, right. G'day mates, Lodon here, and welcome back to a PD3 update. Yes, I'm gonna call it an update. Um, we just have, it just dropped the Operation Medic Bag update for the Diamond District Showcase. So the Diamond District Showcase teaser, that's so fucking loud, is this. Basically, that that's all they gave us. Basically saying this is a free heist. Diamond District tra um, uh, District teaser trailer. I, I was hyped for it, and but I was worried it was going to be like four stores from Payday Two. That kind of sucked in Payday Two, but it is, but better. <laughs> so we'll, we'll we'll get into that. But let's see. Um, good news. We're excited about announcing release brand new heist um Diamond District. So a few months ago, we produced the voices of Monkey. Said let's let them cook. It's great to be able to start showcasing you really of all the cooking. Um, in additional previews, basically, you're not just skipping ahead to the pictures, are you? We've got some questions with some quest answers from the level design team. First off, the teaser trailer. That's fine. We've already seen the teaser trailer. That is a great intro. Now, here we go. So back in contract, the payday gang for another job or... It, Oh, Beckett, okay. A deal went south for one of the, our business associations from the famous Diamond District. Since calling the police isn't an option, it's the payday gang time to do their thing. So this is the, the payday district here, okay. So we got like, I think this is behind or near. Yeah, it, it's near the um No Rest for the Wicked. It's no rest of the wicked would be down the street to the left around here because I've been out of bounds here and this is what it actually looked like. I knew they were making something here, but it's Diamond District. Nice. So we got A and K jewelry right here. Guaranteed this will be one of the shops. And I don't know what else. Maybe this is just the overview. Of like a um where the it stopped. Setting, it'd been great watching you spectate what the heist would be. Some thoughts it'd be a legacy heist, other reimagined, neither being quite right. Some spectate for source. Other thought it was the confusing name Diamond Heist from Payday Two. Surprise! It's none of them. Well, it's the four swords. Um, stores. It, it's the four stores. <laughs> it, it is one of them. <laughs> Uh, this is a brand new original heist. Yes, but exactly, it's true. Um, it's true. Our inspiration came from four stores. <laughs> yeah, there it is. But we added one more store. <gasps> oh my god, it's five stores. <laughs> Fucking <blue. laughs> what the fuck? Pay three. Come on, what the fuck? So it's better. Five stores is better than four. Sometimes our brilliance is frightening. Yeah. What do we got? This is Glamour. Ah. Uh, Uh-huh. Okay. So this is a snatch and grab. Probably two cameras. Um. Got to turn off the uh, alarm system. Snatch and grab. Okay, that's that's pretty easy. Um, what kind of heist is a diamond district? From the beginning, the team wanted to create a classic back to the roots heisting experience one of the family our uh, players are familiar with. Keeping the overall experience short and simple while adding some layers of depth to explore. Okay. Uh keeping the layers compact as Objectives easy to understand were our main goal that we're pretty happy with an outcome. Okay, here, here comes another one. With this ring. So this is the big store. Okay, so this is the big store. There's AK, jury. There's probably Glamour right here. And maybe two on this side. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, what are we you inspired um, what were your inspirations for the heist that I guess we said? Inspiration were, um, of course, the realized location of 47th Street in New York City. 
but we also drew inspiration from the TV series Kaleidoscope. Really? Oh, okay. Um, I, Australia didn't get this, so I don't know. And the movie Uncut Gems focused on this area. We liked, uh, we really liked how they showed the diamonds. Okay, so this is with the ring. So this is the big one. Okay, so QR code, guard, camera, camera, camera. That's a lot of cameras in one area. That's a lot of fucking loot. Guaranteed two separate areas. Guaranteed a back room with diamonds. Uh, because all of these are small statue grabs. Guaranteed that the back would be a big one through these doors, up the stairs, around here and here. Guaranteed you have to go to the ma manager room, get a key card or get the code or grab him to go into the vault in the back or something like that. We'll see. How does the play differently from the other heists in Payday 3? We aim for the faster experience, snatch and grab, you could say. What we added as a layer on top of the sandbox equivalent gameplay style, how players can play, we root will um what route will they take? How much will they steal? Players can scout, see what things are, and then plan how and which store they will attack. We hope to provide players with some sort of fun way to tackle the heist. Okay. So I'm saying um I'm I'm guessing you can mask up, jump up here. Go in here. This is one of the stores. Um, maybe. Then you won't be able to like snatch and grab these stores, unless you have a team of four. Two people tackle this side. Two people tackle this side. Come back even. Okay. <laughs> what was the main challenge in development of this heist? Ooh. The big challenge was juggling several other heists with the development simultaneously. That everyone had to re um respect and. This is going to be a really fun, loud heist. It's like just going back and forwards. It's, it's going to be huge. Um, manage tight resource, being smart in what we can reuse and which new things can develop. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. This seems weird. I don't know what you would find here. Is there anything new the heists can expect? Since the beginning of the heist designs, we were thinking a way to solve the problem of how players cross the street in stealth. While masked up, all the white pedestrians are walking up and down the street. We wanted to give the player a fair and into his chance to get to the other side undetected, to continue stealthing to the other stores. For this, we developed a new game mechanic. Look at out to the center street. There's something you can use, even at a distance. Are we going underground? Or is it, are they talking about this? Where we can just sneak around here, go in and all that. I think they're talking about this area. I thought it would be something more creative, but it's not. It's just a roadblock where you can just jump out, dive down, walk around to do this bitch, fucking walk in, and then jump through the windows to this area, and so on and so forth. I thought it was like something new. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe new. Like, this is the center, center, center street. Central Street, sorry. This is, this is a, I don't know what would be new. This seems just normal. Unless this is a generator you can use. And you can like, load up something. I fucking don't know. Um, are you happy with our turnout? Yes. We made it to create what we aimed and how, um, and we like how it plays and looks. The team did an amazing job. The fast highs set in the Diamond District, where everyone, where where everywhere you look is something shiny and sparky waiting to snatch. We thank to the designers for their excellent work, and hopefully you'll enjoy the instant classic highs. 
Looking forward to Diamond District arriving free soon. And don't forget, it's 50% off, I guess, on um, August the 9th to August the 16th. Um, if you want to pay it, that, that would be the best uh, time to buy it off Steam. It's 50% off. Um, so let's go back here. Let's, let's just have a decent look at this. So I'm going to say this is um, basically hiding. So you just jump down and move to side to side because this is connected to these two and these connected to these three, I'm, I'm guessing. And there's a guard that's walking with a manager right there. Right there. Guaranteed you have to snatch that manager or something. This is going to be a really fun, loud heist. This one has alerts, like um alarms, so you'll have to disable that. But this one seems very small. What I can see, and what I can feel, that it's going to have maybe 15 bags, maybe less. Maybe 12. I'm going to say, if you collect everything, you're going to get maybe like 900,000 to 1.5 mil um, in the whole thing. Uh, maybe around 2,000 experience on loud. Maybe a little bit less on stealth. Hmm. Depends if there's no shenanigans. This one, I don't fucking understand. This one's behind the truck. That's behind here. Right? Yeah, it's, it's behind, like... It's behind here. I don't know what this building is. I think this is like a natural bank. It's, it's just like a side bank. Or loan deposit. I can't read this. I, I, I literally can't read this. Uh, I can't, like, zoom in. Can I zoom in? I can't read this. It's... I think this is a bank. Yeah. I think that's a bank, guys. There's New York, AK Jewelry, maybe this one as well. Cash and gold, that's a pawnbroker's, um, oh god, I zoomed in for something, uh oh, how do I unzoom, uh oh, how do I, how did I get the zoom up? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm not good at this kind of shit. Whoops. Whatever. Anyway. Um, but yeah, that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm hoping Diamond Trickster does really, really good. But if not, give them hell. Give them hell. They listen to us once. If we band together, we're strong. Anyway, love you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.